my name is Emily Morgan, and I'm the author of Next Time You See the Moon from NSTA Kids. And I'd like to share a simple activity with you that can help you understand why the moon looks different at different times throughout the month. Why sometimes it looks like a banana, and other times it looks like half of a circle, and other times it looks like a big round ball. Well, to do this activity, you only need four simple things. You need a lamp with a shade removed, a white foam ball, a pencil, and a dark room. The darker the room, the better. Now in this model, the lamp is going to represent the sun, and of course the white foam ball is going to represent the moon, and your head is going to represent the earth. So let me show you how this works. We know that the moon orbits the earth, so in this model, I'm going to get the moon, the foam ball, to orbit the earth in my head. Notice that no matter where the moon is in its orbit, half of it is always lit up by the sun. But when the moon is in this position, I can't see any of the lighted side of the moon from Earth, my head. From this angle, you can see what I am seeing from Earth. We call this new moon. When it's new moon, we look up at the sky and we can't see the moon. It's there, but the side that's reflecting sunlight is away from us. Now, as I slowly make the moon orbit to my left, I can begin to see a tiny sliver of that lighted side. We call that a crescent moon. As the moon keeps orbiting, we can see more and more of that lighted side. We see half of the lighted half, which is a quarter moon. In this case, a first quarter moon. As we keep orbiting, we see almost the whole lighted side. We call that a gibbous moon. Then, when we can see the entire lighted half of the moon, that's a full moon. As the moon continues in its orbit, we begin to see less and less of that lighted side. We're back to a gibbous moon, but this time the light is on the opposite side. Then another quarter moon, last quarter moon to be exact. Another crescent. And finally back to new moon. And the cycle begins again. So why does the moon appear in different shapes throughout the month? Because of its orbit. The shape or phase of the moon depends on where it is in its orbit around Earth. It takes about a month for the moon to orbit the Earth. So when you look up at the moon today, know that you'll see that same phase again about a month from now. Thank you for watching and I hope you give this activity a try. And I hope that you have a sense of wonder next time you see the moon. For a full description of this activity and other resources for teaching about moon phases, go to www.nsta.org slash next time dash moon. There are moon calendars and other science and reading activities there. For more information about the Next Time You See book series, visit www.nexttimeyousee.com.